if you were looking for the perfect off-road trailer for under $30,000, I think we may have found it today with this ROG 12 RK. Off-road trailers are becoming more popular and they are expensive. So if you were looking for maybe the perfect off-road trailer for you for under $30,000, check out this ROG. I think it's called ROG. Rogue ROG 12 RK. This thing is pretty dang cool. When I first got looking at this, I'm like, there's no way that it just comes with our standard two inch ball hitch on this off-road trailer with timber and suspension, all those things. And then looked in the back and I actually found they have the max coupler off-road hitch. With the max coupler, you get full articulation. It allows you to really go off-road. And with a trailer like this, that's what you want to do. So I was kind of surprised when I saw the two inch, but good to see they do have the max coupler. Coming around the side, got our weights. So let's look at our weights right here from the start. The cargo weight is 1,482 pounds with a gross vehicle weight rating of 3,500. Along with that, it comes with a 48 gallon water tank. And for a trailer this size to have a 48 gallon water tank, that's a huge deal because most are much smaller than that. And it gives you a lot more capabilities to stay off the grid longer with that bigger tank. Coming down the side here, you can see this is the survival series. You do have your door right here and you have a door on the other side so you can get both. So that way you and your spouse or whoever can get in from both sides without crawling over each other. But what makes it really cool is all the stuff that comes with up here on the roof rack. You get your axe and your shovel and your hatchet. So all the things you're gonna need when you're out in the back country and trying to stay off grid for a while. This is a really nice roof rack. This thing's huge. Most of the time these trailers, the cargo racks are like maybe half of the total roof. This cargo rack is the entire roof. So much room to put bikes and everything else up here, kayaks, all those sort of things. And along with that, you do have your Dometic air conditioner and your Max fan right up at the front. Looking at the tires, it comes with West Lakes. These are a 235-75 R15, and it's a mud tire. The reason they do this is to have the thicker sidewall when you're off-roading, so that way you don't get a rock slicing your tire as much. Let's look and see what the suspension is down underneath. Nice to be able to crawl around under here without being in the gravel. And looking at its suspension, it does have an independent suspension system. You can see these big rubber plates here. Don't see a lot of like big coil over shocks or anything like that. Right here you do have your big rubber uh, bushing as well. But while I'm down here, let's look at the frame. You can see the aluminum frame all the way underneath. Very clean, little bit of wiring, but this thing looks really nice from underneath. While I'm down here, right here, you do have your stabilizer jacks and you have them on all four corners. Let's get this back end opened up for you. Showing you the kitchen on the back side. Pretty simple, but it's got everything you need. You've got your two burner cooktop right there, microwave, and you've got some power, uh, and your refrigerator, mini fridge right there for you. Really good size, actually. Uh, not a, a whole lot of storage, but you do have a couple of sources. This one's very deep. I have to reach clear back for that one. Uh, below the sink as well, all the way back, and you also have a little storage up here as well. Now the thing to talk about, this awning. It goes all the way from this back corner, clear up here to the front. So with this massive bat wing awning, you have to be able to tie it down or else this thing's a giant parachute. It has 18 different spots all around this to tie it down, to make sure it's secure, because if you don't, this thing will be gone instantly. Cow. I gotta go, Julia. We got cows. Not only does it have 18 points to tie it down, it has these zippers going all the way around, and you can actually get the screen that goes all the way around this. 
So if you're camping in an area, lots of bugs, mosquitoes, those sort of things, you can screen off this whole bat wing. That way you can keep those bugs out of your trailer. It'd be really nice on those hot nights, leave the doors open, you're all screened off. So you aren't getting bugs in your trailer, but you're getting that fresh air. That'd be pretty cool. Coming down the side, you do have your outdoor cooktop. This is not a black stone, it's a gray stone. It does feel really nice. I like how heavy the cast iron is and I like the shape of the burners. So instead of just having two little rod burners right here, it has this weird little kind of horseshoe shape. So that way you're getting a lot more coverage on your cast iron. It's gonna make it a lot more even cooking. Uh, right here, you do have a little cup holder and utensil holder. Nice to put your spatulas, all that sort of thing to help you cook at night, but also this is probably too bright to be cooking with. You do have pod lights on the sides which would be super nice out in the desert or wherever you're camping to be able to really light up underneath this awning really well. As we were walking around, I got looking, I'm like, where in the heck are the batteries? I could not find them anywhere to find out what's actually powering this thing. So we had to ask Jessica, the, the salesman, and she came out and was like, oh, they're right here. This is pretty dang creative where they put them. Now, because they are running lithium, you can put the batteries down in here. They don't have to be as ventilated. So you have a 100 amp hour lithium battery. So you could really go off grid for a long time. If you throw three lithium batteries in this trailer, it, that's gonna be a ton of power for a, a 12 foot trailer. Kind of a cool place to put that, really out of the way. Now that we are on the inside, we are gonna check out some features. Uh, right away, I had to move a bag. It's our solar system. It is a 200 watt solar. So not only do you have those lithium options, you have your solar options. Basically, if you ran out of food, that would be your only thing you'd have to worry about. <laughs> the mattress in this unit is quite comfortable and it is thick. It looks like it's about eight inches. So you can just lay it down flat or else you can kind of prop it up and then you have your nice little lounge area to watch your TV. So while you're sitting here lounging on your mattress, you can take in your, a video, play music. Uh, you've got all of your control monitors right there. Really great storage up above, fairly deep. Uh, we mentioned the Max Air in here, as well as the AC unit. Behind me, you've got some really great storage as well. And like I mentioned, this mattress folds up kind of into a couch configuration. So a couple of different uh, styles while you're inside in the living area. Other little things, little corner caddies right there. Uh, you've got some really nice bungee storage as well and our windows Nice little shade a blackout shade Only kicker with these windows is they are the egress. So these are the emergency style So you have to kind of finagle them a little bit to get them open, but also in this unit, uh, you have a first aid kit. So they give you an ax and a first aid kit. <laughs> Just, do you wanna show the closet? Yeah. They have a few things up in here. Um, you got your water, your water hoses right here, um, your different locks for your different things like that. Uh, right here's all your fuses, that whole panel um, comes with the US flag. Gotta like that, that comes with a flag. I've survival never... hacks. Even comes with a survival hacks book, which, I mean, I, I like to act like I know everything, but this probably probably more informative. And your flagpole. So that is really cool that this comes with an American flag and a flagpole. So many accessories. Yeah, but that is, and that really is great. cool they put that in there. And like super nice. Space. Yeah, it's all carpeted. It's not just like rough wood. They went through and carpeted all of this. So you aren't getting splinters and like cutting your knuckles open, all that sort of stuff when you're getting in and out. 
if you've spent any time in trailers, you know how unfinished their woodwork is and a lot of busted knuckles. <laughs> so that is nice that they've done all of that. I really like also, I know Kara didn't point this out, how much room is around the mattress. Lots of room. I mean, that's that's your solar panel. You've got lots of excess room Well, on both sides. A lot of these smaller teardrop off-road trailers, the mattress fits in so tight, like our bean, it fits like right in there. Then it makes it difficult to even make the bed. And this, you have enough room that you can actually make the bed, which is kind of nice. Does it have if you're interested in a small off-road trailer that you can get out and go and do so many things for under $30,000, yes. you might want to look at this ROG 12 Rear Kitchen RK. And we do want to thank Motorsportsland for letting us come in and show you this awesome unit. Uh, today we are working with Jessica, but anyone here would be happy to show you this unit. As always, thanks for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, all those sort of things that we're supposed to tell you, and enjoy your weekend. Comes with all the things that you need to get sent to the ER. Your hatchet, your axe, all those sort of things.